There are many reasons why people like websites to have forms to fill in in order to contact the owner of the website. Um, I guess the main one is that it makes it easier to manage the traffic that's coming in from the website and to handle the inquiries. So at the moment, I've got a contact page, which is just a, a holding page. And um, I think the first thing to do here is to actually download a specialist plugin to help us to, to manage the contact forms. So I'm going to do a search for a, a new one. There's a particularly tried and trusted one called Contact 7, which uh, I've been using for many years and is by far the most popular. You can see there's over 5 million active installations. So I'm, I've downloaded it, then I press activate and when it's activated, I'll have a look at the settings. Normally the default for this is pretty good. Um, I'll just look at that, edit the contact form. And we can see that it's asking for your name with the text box underneath. It's going to ask for your email address and then the send instructions are in that button there. So let's look at how the mail is set up. And by default, it's going to create an email address to my address. It's going to create an email that by default has a particular subject header in it. So I'll try this one out and I'll just change it to um, website inquiries. Inquiry. Uh, reply to your email. And we'll. So the thing is, uh, we can have a thank you message also. Uh, now the thing is to just try it out, really. So we'll try that out London in the next video. Johann Nepomuk Vents arrangement of the overture and a selection of.